Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. this video, I'm going to be doing another computer optimization video, but instead of my recent FPS changes, I'm going to do a input lag and CPU optimization video. Now, I want to make this video nice and short, so I have timestamps in the video's well, player, and if you go to the description, all the tools you need are there, and in case I was unclear in any way in this video, I also have some other instructions on exactly what I did in this video in the description. First thing we're going to do is we're going to install a software called ISLC. So first, go into the video description and click on the link and officially download it there. Click here, let the exe file download, click on it. You want to click this button over here, put it on the desktop and push OK. Come over here and click on the ISLC program. And you see something like this. It should be exactly like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to leave this right here. Make sure it's on 1024. Now once you've made sure this is at 1024, you're not going to want to start yet. Go over to free memories lower than and select this to half of your RAM over here. So as you can see here, I have about 24 gigs of RAM. I'm going to want to put 12,000 megabytes. If you have 32 gigs, you're going to put 16,000 and so on. Just put half of the amount of RAM that you have. If you're not done yet over to wanted timer resolution delete it and put 0 0.50 it should look exactly like this click this right here enable custom timer resolution and come over to this ISLC polling rate over here you're going to click 500 for medium to high end systems and a thousand to low end or medium end systems so for me I have an RTX 3060 card I'm going to go 500 but as I said before if you have something like a Maybe a 980 or a little lower. Maybe it'd be safer to go with a thousand. Now, once you've selected your correct polling rate and this is right and all this is right, push this purge standby list here and click start. You can now minimize this. It'll minimize to your little drop down taskbar thing over here, and you can close out of this, and you are good. Once you completed that, you can move on to disabling the high precision event timer. To do this, you're going to want to come over to your search bar and type device manager. Device manager comes up. You should see this just like this. Not too much here. You're going to want to come over to system devices at the bottom and click this arrow and scroll down until you see a high precision event timer. As you can see here, I found it. Right click on it and disable the device. I've already disabled it because I've applied these optimizations. So you can disable this because it should be enabled for you. Once you've done that, simple as closing this out now. Now that you've completed those, it's time to go on to something that's a bit more complicated, but it's going to improve your input lag and your CPU performance by a ton. So now what we're going to do here is you want to hit the Windows button, come into the search bar, type reg edit. Once you type it in, you should see Registry Editor, click on that, click Yes, and you should see uh, something like this. If you've never gotten in here before, it should look something like this, but either way, it doesn't matter. All you need is this up here, this code up here. Now head to the description and get the little Registry Editor path that I've supplied for you guys in the description, like I said. Delete this and paste, using Control v that exact path that I put in the description. Now push enter and you should see something like this. Once you've done that, come over to here, click on some system responsiveness, type in one and push OK. Once you've done that, come over here down below, hit tasks, expand that, hit games. Now you want to find GPU priority, double click on it, put it as eight and hit OK. Then find priority, double click on that. Make sure it is six, push OK. Then finally, or not finally, but almost finally, come to scheduling category. Make sure it is high. Make sure the capital H, there's a has to be a capital H in high or it'll really mess up your computer. Make sure that looks just like mine, push OK. And finally for SFIO priority, make sure it is high exactly with the capital H also, push OK. We're now good with this, close out of this, and once you restart your computer, that should be applied. And we have one last thing that can really unlock your CPU, so stay tuned for this one because this is one of the, one of the biggest ones in this video for the CPU. You want to hit Control R, type in msconfig, 
push OK or enter, come to boot, advanced options, hit number of processors, click the one, select the highest amount, it could be 12, it could be 64 if you have a god tier computer, push OK, set this timeout to 3 seconds, make sure it all looks just like mine, push apply and OK. You're also going to have to reset this compu your computer after this. But for now, we're just going to close out. What that last one does there is it unlocks all the cores in your processor. So if you bought a really expensive processor with 64 cores, you have not been using that. You just haven't been using the other powerful parts of that processor. So now you really un unlock your CPU to give it somewhat of its full potential. Because you never want to give your CPU its full potential. Because especially in laptops, because you have the possibility of melting your motherboard. And as you may know or not know, that's not good. Because melting anything in your computer is never good. No matter how much experience you have with that stuff. Simple as that. You've optimized your computer in under 5 minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope it helped you guys. If you guys want any more optimization videos for anything like GPU or more CPU. Because I have a ton more optimizations. Comment down below. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.